yeah, my name's Charles Davis. I, I worked at Fender Guitars for 44 years and retired 10 years ago. I was about 12, playing around as a kid, you know, and went to the bathroom, zipped my pants up, and got my penis caught in my zipper. Naturally, I wasn't circumcised. It damaged the foreskin. Now, this I didn't pay any attention. Naturally, you don't tell your parents something like this. And this went on for till I was 23. And my urine stream was the size of a pen. And naturally, this damaged the urethra. Well, I went in to a doctor, and he opened the end up and also circumcised me. And I think, I don't really remember, I think he went up and back then they called it honing. He had a big steel rod, and he went up my penis with that to stretch it out. And that was kind of re a relief after I had that surgery. I figured, oh, it's over, you know. But it wasn't. But that was probably when I was, right after we got married, 23. And I put up with still not going right for another 20 years until I finally, well, I've got to go see another doctor. So it's, naturally, it's not normal, <laughs> you know. I can never, I can never remember when I was normal. And I'm sure people, a lot of people have my same problem. I think I finally went to a urologist. They took uh, x-rays. They, they shoot stuff in your urethra and take an x-ray. And they could see it was all, what do you call it, uh, had scar tissue in it. So they, they did their operation. They went in. And I don't know what they do. They they do it with knives where they open it up. Well, it wasn't, after they pulled the catheter out, it wasn't a week till I was right back the same way. And then I left it go for another probably 10 years. Then I went to another doctor. And they tried it. Two more times they tried this. It didn't work. And this one doctor I was going to, he said, well, there's uh, one doctor in UCI that specialized in reconstructive urethra surgery. And he, he said, I'm going to send you to him because he is the best. He studied, he is the best. Well, about two weeks later, they called me, your insurance won't let you go to him. But I have this Another guy, well, I should have known something was wrong to, right then. If you tell somebody this guy is the best, and then they send you another guy and say the same thing, well, something wrong here. Well, anyway, I went to, they did the surgery. I thought it was going to work out great. And then about maybe, I don't know. Two or three months later, I went to the doctor, and I was still having the same problem. They went up with a scope. I had hair growing in my urethra. Well, they finally got an authorization for me to go to Dr. Gelman. He put the scope up my urethra. I saw the picture. My urethra was just full of hair. He couldn't believe it. He's got a picture of it. He just couldn't believe that he didn't get to do it, that the insurance wouldn't let him do it. And he's, now he's got to clean up the mistake of somebody else. <laughs> so, and he did major reconstructive surgery, and it, and it worked this time. And I just went to him, and it's clear. There's, there's nothing in there, so. There's no more hair, thank God. And I haven't had any problems since. When they finally got the okay and referred me to Dr. Gelman, they should have done this to start with, and they wouldn't have <laughs> been out all the expense, and I would have
probably wouldn't have had to go through all of this. And I should have went to him first. So, Well, if my insurance wouldn't let me see him, I would keep pursuing it. I wouldn't want to see anybody else, you know. Because the guy, what I understood, went to a special school just to learn this procedure. And I'm sure he's been doing this for I don't know how long, 10 years at least. So, no, I, I wouldn't accept anybody else. Insist on seeing somebody who knows how to do it. You know, don't do like me and, and go to somebody that, that didn't do it right and just cause more problems. Dr. Galma, he'll do it right. When he called me, he said, uh, he said, I haven't seen you for five years. I need to get a five-year checkup to see how you're doing. I said, well, I don't have, my insurance won't pay for me coming to see you. And then he said, well, he said, I'll pick it up. I'll pay for it. He said, he, I'm sure he wanted to see how I was doing. So, And he picked up the whole thing, the whole tab. So that was really great. Because my insurance, they would never pay for it. It's finally over. Well, it's been this way for five years. I, I can finally go to the bathroom normal, normal. And I haven't had any problem. In fact, when I went back to see him again, I was, oh, I hope there's no hair in there. <laughs> And there wasn't, so everything's fine. He he scoped me all the way to the bladder, and it was looked great. He was always hurting. He was never comfortable. You know, it was just, it was miserable. Yeah, after he had done it at the major medical center, we thought that that was going to be the end of it, that they were going to fix it and going to be on our merry way and no more problems. But... The longer we went, you know, it went, the worse it got. Until he finally went down to see Gilman and he fixed it. He kept, we, you know, they kept, insurance kept trying to send him to different doctors. And, you know, the doctors that he went to would just say, no, they don't do that or they can't do it. And finally they, you know, down at Gilman's, down at UC Irvine, when they accepted him, it was like, okay, this is going to be another round. But after he got through with them and he got out of the hospital and he was doing okay, then we thought, well, maybe this is the right one. And we wished that he had went there to begin with. And we wouldn't have had to suffer and go through all the pain and the aggravation that we went through. And during the surgery, you know, he'd, I knew that he was in good hands with Dr. Gilman. And when the surgery was over with, he finally he came out and he talked to me and told me exactly what he did. And it was a long surgery. And he was always on top of everything. And it, it kind of made us feel comfortable. He was very easy to get along with. Yeah, he cared. It was like he really cared. The other doctors, oh, yeah, we'll do surgery. Yeah, okay, we can do it. But it's never like, we will do it, and it will be better. And that's what Dr. Gilman did. It was like, he can do it. And he did it. And he hasn't had any problems since then.